Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is basically the second part on how to get rid of this watermark. And I've already done one on this this insect, and while I was waiting for that video to load, I went and found that site, and sure enough, they are free. But there's a couple of things wrong with this. Where we moved, removed our watermark, we've got some jagged lines, and where the other leg is good, and also our the insect's eyes aren't very good. So we're going to take our shape tool and we're just, instead of trying to, and see that's actually a double line there. So you need to ungroup it. And whenever you're dealing with this, you have to get off your object and just delete that circle. Ungroup it again, break curve apart. Delete that circle and let's just bring in a new eye that's probably a little bit big and then place it about where it was now we've corrected that so instead of doing this to that side and fixing his leg we can do this and I've and I've done a couple of videos he's in the center of the page so I'm gonna get my two-point line I'm gonna hold down my control button so it's perpendicular I'm gonna press P and now that's in the center of the line Take your virtual segment delete key and just delete these lines that you don't need. And you can also lasso them. Now this works about 95% of the time. Sometimes you'll have a leak, but not necessarily all the time. Now we're going to delete that line. It looks like there's a double line there and sure enough there is. Now, Let's group them together, control G, control D, hold down your control button still and move them over. And then you just do a test and you fill it in. And now our eyes are good. Now there's a leak because it's not going anywhere and it filled in our eyes. So when you did that, there's a leak in this box. And I'm going to say right where we joined it. And if you look right there, that's enough to cause it a leak. Now, there's a couple ways to fix that, but we're going to ungroup, take our shape tool, and just bring it over a little bit, fill in that leak. Now, let's see if it's fixed. So, we got another leak right there. We've got two more leaks. That's why I was saying sometimes it works. So, let's back up here until we get our eyes back. Now you can always, in his previous videos, draw you a box around your subject so your eyes will not fill in. So your eyes didn't fill in because it's inside that box. So this one's leaking and that one's leaking. And you just have to do the same thing. You just have to find that leak and there it is right there. Just bring that note over a little bit past. So if it was on the top of that one, I'm going to say it's on the top of this one. And you can see it right there. Take your shape tool and just slowly bring that over. Get back to your smart fill tool. And it worked. Then you can remove this box. And what that box did, it kept the leak from going out elsewhere. So now you have a good symmetrical, cleaned up vector artwork. We've still got a red hairline. We can left click or right click the mouse and now you've just got uh, and I would always in past take your yellow box put in the back of the page and that way you you have no white you have everything's transparent that will engrave great so that's how I would clean up some jagged edges on their feet so now both, both legs are exactly the same. The eyes are exactly the same. The guy is a little more uniform. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.